Digital piano electronic keyboards designed to sound and feel like an ordinary acoustic piano. They typically contain an amplifier and loudspeakers built into the instrument. In most cases, they can fully replace acoustic pianos and provide several features, such as recording and saving files to a computer. Digital pianos, as their name implies, are designed specifically to have the sound and feel of acoustic pianos and sometimes to look like them as well. Digital keyboards, on the other hand, typically offer a wider range of sounds, but rarely have the feel or look of an acoustic piano. Let's take a closer look at the difference between digital piano and keyboard with this video. So, the distinction between a digital piano and an electronic keyboard is in completely black and white there is something of an overlap between the two. Some digital pianos also have features that are found on keyboards, for instance. Roland's FB10 Beginner Digital Piano has a Bluetooth feature that allows you to stream audio from a mobile device through the onboard speakers so that you can play along to your favorite songs using one of its 10 ultra-high-quality piano sounds. It also has a built-in sound recorder that can capture and playback your performances. Meanwhile, Casio's 88 Key CDP S350 Portable Digital Piano also blurs the lines between the two camps by offering 700 instrument tones and over 200 auto accompaniment styles in addition to its authentic grand piano tones and fully weighted hammer action keyboard. Meanwhile, practically every electronic keyboard you can buy today will feature a handful of decent acoustic piano tones. As an example, Yamaha's PSR F373 keyboard features over 620 different voices, but has a dedicated button on the front panel that can be used to call up a remarkably convincing acoustic grand piano sound sampled from a real Yamaha CFX Concert Grand Piano with a single button press. However, because it has only 61 keys, hundreds of other voices, and an auto accompaniment system that lets you play alongside an entire virtual band with just one finger, it falls firmly into the electronic keyboard category. So you wouldn't really call it a piano. So while some digital pianos could also be thought of as electronic keyboards, not all electronic keyboards are digital pianos. Let's explore why. Digital pianos are designed to replicate the look, sound, and feel of an acoustic piano with the obvious advantages that they're much lighter, don't require tuning, and can be used with headphones so you don't annoy your neighbors while practicing. They're often limited to just a handful of high-quality sounds that offer a variety of different acoustic piano tones, as well as a smattering of things like electric pianos, organs, strings, and harpsichords. Each of the 88 keys might feature multiple samples of that key recorded from a real piano at multiple volume levels played with varying degrees of pressure and with a sustain pedal depressed, all of which combine to emulate the response of the real thing with the highest possible degree of authenticity. Alternatively, companies like Roland use virtual modeling engines such as their Supernatural engine for the piano sounds on their high-end models. Electronic keyboards, on the other hand, tend to focus not just on piano tones, but also everything else besides, with the voice count often running up into the high hundreds. Keyboards are also much more likely to feature auto accompaniment features such as a variety of pre-programmed rhythm patterns to play along to, single finger chords and bass accompaniment, pre-programmed intros, fill-ins and endings, arpeggiators, auto harmonizers, and much more besides. Both types of instrument share a piano-style black and white keyboard. Speakers that the sound comes out of, a display screen and a front panel containing a number of buttons used to access the controls. Comparing two strong competitors is not just an easy tack. However, we've done a little, but choose yours according to your preferences. This video is just a help over the topic. Hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching till the end.